Mike's carburetor parts here. I'm going to show you how the accelerator pump circuit works on a Holley two barrel 2245. This one is 2209, 2210, same, same idea. Um, so here's the pump well, and here's the pump. Uh, when you uh, rebuild one of these, you want to be sure and use some crocus cloth and, and polish up the well real good. Uh, they tend to get pitted and whatnot, and these uh, rubber cups are because of to make them ethanol resistant and everything. They're thinner than some of the older cups, so they do tend to uh, roll or get split a little easier than they used to. So I mean, we can't have it both ways. Seems so. Just polish it up. So what we're going to do is test the accelerator pump circuit before we uh, put it back on the car and on this particular vehicle um, the pump well gets filled up right here this is the intake it just swaps over that little ledge right there so you can get see right there like that and so the first thing I'm going to do is is now there's a hole down there for the exhaust there's no check ball in it um, and you can see push down and, and fuel is coming out of the main discharge right there okay let's get some more fluid in there now I'm using mineral spirits the fluid uh, seems to mix with gas pretty good and um, it's uh, you can buy it or odorless so here's your check weight here um, some carburetors use check ball and a weight and this one uses uh, just a check weight you put it in there like that and I'm just going to hold it down with a little bit of pressure and press down that pump and you can see it's holding it really good and I'm getting some good pressure so so see it take pressure off and it, and it allows it through okay so that's what happens is you put a little when you when it's going on its downstroke you're accelerating it pushes that check weight up just from the pressure and allows fuel to go um, through the discharge holes so I can make it do see if I can make it do that now Let's see if it's something flat I should have planned a little better for that I don't know we'll see what happens see if I can hold it enough let the weight go up okay All right, I can't see it. Okay, I'm gonna see what I can do then. Uh, start this again. Okay, I was hoping I could figure out a way to uh, make this discharge uh, work uh, with the top off, but I can't. Uh, take it'll take some really flat stock for it. So I'm gonna explain it to you. If you have some flat steel stock, you can put it over here. You need something that'll allow this uh, check weight to move up a little bit, and yet uh, not too far. So what you got here is when you press down on it it's going to force that check weight up a little bit and allow fuel through and it's going to go right through here you see these two two really small holes one on each side here and then they come out right here and that's where you want to see the squirt come out is right these two that's your accelerator pump squirt these holes are just very they're just so small about small as you, you see on a carburetor so you want to be sure those are really clear um, you might have to find, I think if you've got a uh, stick pin, it might fit those holes. So, uh, alright, so that's how you test it. Main thing is, you, you know, you got fluid going through, um, so there's nothing stopped up there. So from there, it just goes out to here. And if you want to try it on the car before you even take it off, the carburetor is, uh, uh, starts up make sure the float bowl gets full and then you can turn it off and pump the accelerator a couple times and watch make sure you have two nice streams coming out of here for your accelerator pump okay and that's how it works thank you for watching